My name is Jim Mann, the Executive Director for Hand Washing for Life, and today I'm going to talk about how green can go wrong. In the interest of sustainability, it's very important to have a standard, and standards include standards on paper that you're using. So I've invited today Dan DeCrecio to tell us a little bit more of how to decide at one good paper from the bad paper. Dan, could you take us through this? Yeah, sure. We're going to do a slant board demo right now, Jim. And basically what I'm going to demonstrate is two different paper technologies. Uh, this is the heavy wet crepe paper technology here. This is pretty much an old technology. Uh, you see it a lot with recycled uh, fiber, uh, product manufacturing. It feels like newsprint. Um, you probably experienced that before. On the left side, these are our absorbency pockets. This is a, uh, a proprietary technology from Kimberly Clark, and we're just going to demonstrate to you how a better paper technology provides better absorbency, which means that folks are going to use less paper to dry their hands. Uh, so what I'm going to do is demonstrate here with a little bit of uh, decaf coffee the absorbency of the paper technology on the right, like I said, was the, uh, the heavy wet crate. So as you can see, as I pour down, the paper pretty much um, wicks off that, uh, that uh, decaf coffee, if you will, and it's pouring down onto the table and making a big mess right now. So uh, the paper itself is not really absorbing, and that's because the paper fibers are crushed, uh, and they're not absorbing uh, this coffee or this water here, this water material. Now, when I go over to uh, the technology on the left here with the absorbency pockets, you can see that it is absorbing significantly more uh, water or decaf coffee here, um, the reason why we use coffee is so that you can actually see it. It makes it easy. So I am just continuing on to pour it on here, and it's continuing to absorb. So as you can imagine here, uh, you're going to need less towels to dry your hands, and it's going to provide you a better experience around hand drying, uh, which could potentially uh, encourage more hand washing and more hand drying. Well, thank you very much. That's uh, a very clear, dramatic picture of the difference between absorption of a good uh, paper towel and a bad one. And certainly this hand drying is an important topic overall. It's important because it's actually part of the cleaning process and you need good towels to add that friction factor. And if I had any one single thing I'd like you to take away from this, not just the paper, it would be keep the air dryers out of your facility. Thank you.